Hello, in my last video I posted this Batman CG animation and announced that I will be recording a tutorial. And I started and then I go to the part with the buildings where I use my editing buildings asset pack. And that's problem because the point of the tutorial is not just to import ready made assets but to learn something new. So I decided to start from scratch and design an asset just for these purposes. The buildings from the editing building asset pack are quite detailed and it is good to add a few of them in the first row next to the camera. But if we are going to scatter the whole city, they are a bit heavy. The city generator should be as simple and optimized, but on the other hand, it should have as much detail and control over all the important things. So where to start? I first made low poly building models so I had something to scatter into the geometry nodes. I will come back to these buildings later and add more details. This is how process of creating low poly buildings looks like. The large plane will be the geometry nodes holder and will determine the size of the city. After that goes distribute points on faces and instances on points. And of course instances will be our buildings. This already works, but all the buildings are the same size and face the same direction. Random value in scale helps with size. Vector stretches them but that's ok if the offset is not large, if you don't want that, you can set it to float. For rotation, we have a little more work to do. First, we want to rotate only the z-axis. Second, we want to randomly use some of these four values that are divisible by 90. This is node setup I used. If we change the seed, we see that each building randomly rotates with one of these values. At this point, I realize it will be good to have control over one thing, how many small and how many large buildings we have. We usually want fewer large buildings, because they quickly make a city dance. I separated large and small buildings into separate collections. I grouped the node group for small buildings, exposed the values I wanted to have in the modifier tab and changed the collection. Merge everything with joint geometry. And now I have separated settings for large and small buildings. The GeoNode setup is now ready and how realistic and detailed the city will look depends on the models we create. Since we need to pay attention to optimization and we need a large number of texture variation, it is best to create one collage within which we have a large number of options that we can later use in the UV editor. I made sure that in addition to the facades, we also had parts that went on the ground floor such as shops, but also large areas that we could project onto the roof, as well as the something for columns, etc. Anyway, there is one concrete texture with a high resolution that I use for bump, roughness and in the color input for dirt. With it we get a lot of details. We can add more details to the low poly models by first projecting a texture onto it and then modeling according to the texture. That's my recommendation so that you have less work to do in the UV editor later. Another option is to simply model the details and then correct the textures in the UV editor later. This is roughly what the process looks like and if you are interested in the whole process step by step, look for the tutorial on my Patreon, YouTube Join or Gumroad. I recorded not only part with modeling and texturing, but also the part with geometry nodes, creating the Batman scene and creating the modifier setup. But note, the super high or X Blender market sales is going on right now, look for the simple city generator at the discount in the link below. 
There are also a lot of other tutorials and assets that I created earlier. Shaders are very important for creating details on buildings. I created between 4 and 5 shaders for each building. For example, a shader for the facades, less transparent glass, more transparent glass, emissive for shops on the ground floor, emissive material for inside buildings, etc. To get the lights inside the buildings, I created a new texture that is projected onto the cube located inside the buildings. It is important here that instead of UV projection, we use object projection, so that all the buildings have the same light scale and so that we can control the light scale later with one move. The object can be anything, for example an empty cube. Since the buildings have glass material that is partially transparent and I left holes in some places, the emissive material will be visible in those places. But I still want to control how much light is on, so to control that I created a brick texture that I multiply with an image texture. I made the dark parts transparent and now with this color ramp we can control how much light is on. But this option is important and this color ramp is not practical for end users who should open shader editor and then look for the slider. I want this option to be available as slider in the modifier tab. We can easily do this with drivers. In geometry nodes we can create an output called for example how many lights. Now we can go back to the shader editor and paste the value that controls the amount of lights as a driver in the modifier tab. I did the same with the value that controls the strength of the light. I did something similar for the city. I applied this texture to the plane that holds the city so we can quickly and easily create a night city atmosphere. Although the buildings looks good now, I didn't stop there. Buildings are usually full of details on the roof. Here we have antennas, small buildings, pipes, AC systems, etc. This creates a lot of details, especially if you look at the buildings as a silhouette. I had already created some assets for the roof before. Now I've imported some of them and created a new one, a simple geonode setup that scatters assets onto the roof. But not just onto the roof. I did the same with the AC units on the facades, as well as the awnings and neon signs on the ground floor. If you are wondering how Blender knows where to place which assets, I defined that with vertex groups. This option allows you to control the amount of details on the buildings. If you don't want it, you can just simply turn off the modifier. That's all for this video. Find the simple city generator in the links below and don't miss the super high or blender market sale. Thanks for your support and see you in the next video.